growing up, though, man, I was blessed. You know, I was raised right. I, I grew up with both my parents, which not a lot of people of my ethnicity get to say nowadays. But I used to hate hearing them complain about growing up without a father because I had one and he wasn't all that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I used to hear the same complaint every day. Like, you know, I grew up without a father. I don't have a father. I grew up without a neck and I didn't complain to nobody. <laughs> there was no scholarship fund for me. It meant don't buy turtlenecks and keep it moving. You know what I mean? Some stuff you got to get over. You know how dumb I used to look asking them to hem up my turtleneck? I had to give my sweater a circumcision. Are y'all listening? <laughs> people don't understand, man. It's a struggle having two parents. Especially because people who grew up without a father think that your parents didn't argue because they stayed together. Now, I didn't mind them arguing. They argued a lot. But I just didn't like when he started messing up. It started ruining my life. I never forget, I was in the third grade. I came home from school one day. They was arguing in the kitchen. Next thing I know, my mama snapped and stopped cooking for a whole week. <laughs> Seven whole days, me and him sitting at the dinner table eating bologna sandwiches. <laughs> I had to put him to the side. I was like, yo. <laughs> I don't know what y'all got going on, <laughs> but I'm gonna need for you to get your shit together. Because if I gotta eat one more turkey on Swiss, I'm gonna go to school and tell them people, you touch me. <laughs> you gotta go. You ain't cut my sandwich in half. Ain't no chips. You gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> then I got two college educated parents. Both my parents went back to college while I was in high school, which was dope. You know, I'm proud of them. They both got master's degrees. But my friends, you know, yeah, yeah, give it up for them, yeah. yeah. But my friends, I guess they had some false reality of what that meant for me at home. They was like, oh, that's dope. You in school, your parents in school, that's cool. I'm like, no, it's not cool, dummy, because we do homework together. <laughs> Everybody at the table confused. Nobody know what they doing. <laughs> I look up, my daddy copying my homework. <laughs> I'm like, we don't even go to the same school. Then my mama gonna make me do her homework every night. <laughs> Talking about she gotta take the time to do homework, then she can't cook dinner. I was like, you know what, give me the homework. <laughs> you are something else, give me the homework. I'm in second grade doing Spanish work, like como se dice. <laughs> Go put the meatloaf in the oven. Como. <laughs>